Hello everyone, welcome to AI Tutorials. If you are looking for machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision and AI related videos, then this is the right place for you to subscribe. And don't forget to tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any new video uploads. Thank you. In this video, we are going to learn about NumPy Array Manipulation. Array Manipulation means we can perform many functionalities on the NumPy array. You can see here some six important functionalities using multiple methods. We will see one by one. First, we have to import the NumPy library, NumPy as NP. Then the first topic is how to change the shape of the array. So with the help of reshape method, we can create the new shape very importantly without changing its data. So with the existing data, you are going to create an another array with different shape and the data remains the same. And you can see the syntax here, numpy dot reshape method and we have three arguments. First one, the array. Another one, what is the shape we have to achieve it like uh, 3 cross 4 or 5 cross 4 something. It can be any shape and what is an order needs to be followed. When we talk about order, we have three categories but we will concentrate order with C and order with F. So let's see with the practical implementation for better clarity. Before starting this, if you want to learn more about any method not only reshape it can be any method just use the help method so within the help just type numpy dot shape and you can see so what is the use of this function and uh, what is an output it will return and uh, some sample examples so this particular method will be very useful just for knowledge purpose, I'm saying this. So let's start the coding. Generate nine numbers using a range function. So a equal to np dot range nine numbers. Let me print it. So it created nine numbers. I will check its shape, dimension, and size. Endem is used for checking the dimension. Then shape and size size means total number of elements available in that particular array so let's execute so we understood it's a one dimensional array that's why we got output like this as a tuple total number of elements are nine now we'll reshape this particular array into three cross three matrix using reshape functionality so b equal to np dot reshape we have three arguments first argument is we have to pass the array so we saved the array in variable a that's why i'm passing this particular variable comma what is the shape you want to achieve it i want three cross three and a third argument is order if you are not mentioning the order then by default it will consider C. So let me print and show you. We got three cross three matrix that is three rows and three columns. So you can see it's a three cross three and this particular nine value changed to three cross three matrix. And uh, you can see how the arrangement happened is from left to right, first row wise, then it will increase one by one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it will happen in the row wise if the order is C. Even though we didn't mention by default, it will consider as a C. Same example, I'm going to add one more argument order equal to capital F. Let's print and see. Now I will tell you the difference between C and F. In C, arrangement was in the row wise. 
but when we use F the arrangement was in the column wise it started with 0 1 2 then 3 4 5 then 6 7 8 so based on your requirement you have to mention the order let me check the shape and dimension see initially it was a one dimension now it's changed to the two dimension three cross three matrix and total number of element is nine so this is a positive scenario one important note you have to remember whenever you use the shape functionality make sure it should match the size of the array because 3 cross 3 3 into 3 it will be 9 size is same that's why it worked properly let's see a negative scenario so c equal to np dot reshape a comma maybe 2 cross 2 so the total element is 4 but we have 9 elements when we execute what happened we got the value error and you can say cannot reshape the array size 9 into 2 cross 2 which is nothing but 4 maybe you can make it 3 comma 4 so 3 comma 4 means we have 9 elements but you are trying for 12 elements then also it will not work so the important thing to remember is using reshape we can create a new shape without changing its data and a new shape must be compatible to the original shape that is the total number of elements must be same then only reshape will work without any error the next method is revel and this function returns the flattened one dimensional array for example if the input is 2d 3d or multi-dimensional array nd then with the help of ravel you can change that to 1d it means the output will be as a single row and syntax is very easier just two arguments array and the order so order talks about the arrangement c means it's a row wise f means it's a column wise so let's see with an example for better clarity now we are going to create the array using a range and also reshape function that is previous method this we use it a lot np dot a range range of 12 numbers dot reshape what is the shape you wanted 3 cross 4 3 rows 4 column or 4 cross 3 anything is fine so when you execute this 12 numbers converted to a shape of 3 rows 4 column that's what here 3 rows and a 4 column first check the shape and dimension before converting into 1d just for knowledge purpose so when we check the dimension it's a 2 dimension and it's a 3 cross 4 12 elements that is before applying the revel method so let's apply the revel method np dot revel pass that particular array the array is stored in variable a then print b see here this big matrix it's a 2d is converted into 1d and its arrangement in the row wise that is starting from 0 till 11 now same example i am going to add one more argument order equal to f and uh, the arrangement happens in the column wise that is 0 4 8 1 5 9 2 6 7 3 7 11 so the arrangement happens in the column wise let's check the dimension and you can see it's converted into 1d so that's about the shape of an array next topic transpose operation first of all what is transpose when you consider an array it will be with rows and columns when we want to change the columns values into rows or vice versa like rows value into column then we have to take the transpose of the matrix so that can be done with help of two methods first one is 
transpose method. This changes the shape of an array by swapping the position with rows by column and vice versa. It's also two argument, one is array, another one is axis. Like above example, we are going to create an array of 10 numbers with 5 rows and 2 columns. So when I execute this code, we have 5 rows, then 2 columns. So this matrix is 5 cross 2. If we apply the transpose, then it will change to 2 rows, 5 columns. So that's the functionality of transpose. This is a very useful method in the linear algebra. B equal to NP dot transpose pass the variable A which contains the array then print P. I'm adding the shape also B dot shape. You can see now this 5 row 2 column change to 2 rows 5 columns. That is nothing but this but particular column is changed to row. This second column is the second row or vice versa also you can tell this row is changed to column. So either rows to column or columns to row. Both are same. Then in addition to transpose method we can also able to do this with the letter T. Okay. C equal to one more variable in a variable we have the array just mentioned capital T capital T means that is also called as transpose of the matrix let me execute and you can see now so both the output are same either you can use transpose or capital T then the next method is swap access method with this function also we can interchange the two axes of an array this is very useful for multi dimension that is nd that time you can specifically choose which particular axis needs to be changed so in the advanced concepts and all this swap axis will be very useful so when we talk about method it contains three arguments the array access 1 and access 2 this can be any access as you wish but now we are going to learn that with the help of simple two dimensional array using a range and a reshape functionality i am creating an array it is a four rows three column we contains four rows and a three column four cross three let's do transpose using the swap axis p equal to np dot swap axis a and we have to mention the axis if not definitely you will get the error so 0 comma 1 so you are changing 0 to 1 it's like 0 means x 1 means y so when you execute now this 4 cross 3 4 rows 3 column change to 3 rows 4 column that is this becomes the first row this becomes the second row and this becomes the third row so that's about the swap axis let's do a short recap so the first one is reshape With the help of reshape we can create a new shape of an array without changing its data but make sure the total number of elements remains the same using ravel from any dimension to 1d we can able to convert it then transpose can be achieved with the help of transpose method and swap access especially this particular swap access will be very useful for multi-dimensional arrays hope you got a clear picture about these two topics if you really think this content is worth then don't forget to like this video. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.